Hello everybody, we are back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild, and today we are in Leighton Lakes multiplayer looking for some Roosevelt Elk. They are one of the species that got a number of changes on the last update, and they've been moved around in their drink zones quite a bit, along with uh, having their actual drinking time changed a bit. And it was changed to 4 to 8, which is an hour earlier than what it was previously. So. We're going to go out and try to figure out where they are now because I don't know all of the places that they drink now. I'm sure that they've moved them quite a bit from what I've seen though because they don't really drink nearly as much on this upper part of this river like they used to. So I guess we'll find out today if they've moved them around a ton, but it definitely feels like it. But let's get this guy to turn. Today we are using the 303 British, so we want to make sure we get broadside shots on these elk. Because this isn't, uh, it is a little bit smaller of a gun than what is recommended for elk. So we definitely want to make sure that we can get a good broadside shot on these guys. Just to ensure that we can make it into both lungs. And unfortunately this guy is being a little bit stubborn, but we did finally get an angle on him. And we'll let that little guy go. He is just a small level 3. Looks like we got more elk, but... Uh, yeah. Oh my... Okay, well, that's something we gotta take down. Alright, so, change of plans. This guy right here is a giant, and we need him. You know, that just might be the smallest Roosevelt elk I've ever seen. I actually think we're probably gonna tax this guy to put into uh, one of our backup lodges with the rest of our tiny trophies. That is kinda cool. You know, honestly, that's almost as rare as a diamond. And in fact, it's probably more rare than a diamond Roosevelt. And here is that small one. I cannot believe we found something this incredibly tiny. It is a 315 kg, 86 scoring Roosevelt elk. That is just incredibly small. So small, it's impressive. And that guy is gonna get sent off to one of our backup lodges. Such a strange thing to come across. It's not something you see every day. And here we have our much larger Roosevelt Elk. This is actually one of the nicer level 4 racks. It's one of the ones that I really like and I kind of wish that this one could make diamond because it would actually be a pretty cool looking one to have in the lodge. But the uh, Roosevelt Elk scoring is a little bit weird in uh, this game so unfortunately it doesn't make it. I kind of wish that they would count to tip to tip spread and inside spread. I definitely think it would uh, help quite a bit. And yeah, the scoring is just interesting in general for these, but either way, this guy's a nice level four. Beautiful elk. Can't complain. That is another very nice looking Roosevelt elk sitting next to uh, another incredibly small one. So uh, we're definitely going to take the bigger of the two from this little group. Let's go ahead and get lined up on him. Should be a pretty easy shot. These guys are much more broadside than the other ones have been. Now the biggest thing with using a gun like the 303 on something as big as an elk, as you could imagine, is the fact that you have to track it for quite a ways because it doesn't have nearly the amount of power of something like the 300 or the 338, so it does take a bit of tracking time, but it's nice to mix it up every once in a while and use different guns on stuff we typically nor or, uh, typically wouldn't use. So let me know down below if there's any gun that you would like to see me use on a specific animal, preferably on Layton, because I have been enjoying the Layton Lakes videos recently, so if there's any gun that you would like me to use on Layton Lakes animals, put it down in the comments, and if I see one in particular requested multiple times by different people, then we might end up doing it. I just ended up spooking some other Roosevelt elk and I have no clue how big they were. I saw one of them and it was a level 3 but I couldn't see the other so uh, fingers crossed it wasn't anything too huge but this guy right here is a good looking elk. This is just a beautiful level 4. 305 is definitely not bad. That's a very good bowl. That is a really good bowl. It's still 75 below diamond but it looks good. I like it. Now as a lot of you know and a lot of you guys feel the same way about the Roosevelt Elk. Most of their true racks just are not really up to par with uh, what we expect out of a Roosevelt Elk. And a lot of it is like the level 3s and the level 2s that just don't look that realistic. You know, a lot of these level 4s actually don't look bad. 
like something like this is pretty good but a lot of the, a lot of the level threes and the level twos need a bit of a rework and maybe some of the smaller level fours but the bigger elk actually do look pretty good well there they are and none of them are anything special so those guys get to live to uh fight another day and that is a max weight estimate moose but once again just a small four so we're gonna leave him alone we are now in a brand new server because the last one ran out of drink time for the Roosevelt Elk, but we do have a decent level 4 already on this server, so let's go ahead and get lined up. This is probably going to be a mid to high 200 scoring one, I would imagine, but I uh, still need to get it down. It's one we have yet to see, so let's see if we can get another. There, that guy should die a little bit quicker than normal because we did manage to get that second shot into it. Definitely going to help with uh, speeding up the process of getting it down. There he is, and that is a beautiful looking bull. His uh, beams kind of curl back, which is interesting. You don't see too many like that. And he is a high 200s, 297. He actually scores a little bit higher than I expected him to. But yeah, that's not a bad elk at all. It definitely looks smaller than some of the ones that we've killed today that scored roughly the same. So... I am actually kind of wondering how he scores so much. It's got to be just these tines right here. It's got to be this tine and this tine because they are just incredibly long. So I imagine that accounts for a lot of the score. So there's another really nice Roosevelt elk. That's a big level four right there. There's also a level three over here somewhere, but he's not nearly as big as that level four. So he gets to live, but this level four is definitely going down. This should be... actually, no, that's not going to be a good shot. He needs to lift his head up again. I honestly don't know how this gun's going to do with quartering shots on a Roosevelt. Might be a little iffy. But I think it should do okay. I guess we'll know if we see the health go down. Uh, that's not looking too good. So, quartering shots are a no-go for the 303 on Roosevelt's. Gonna have to put one more in him, just to speed up the process of getting him down. Well, he did end up dying, but unfortunately, we completely ruined the score on him. <laughs> Animal shot more than two times, and no vital hit. Let's see what happened here. So, it just didn't have enough penetration. A uh, second shot was exactly the same. It was so close. If we were a little bit higher, that would have been heart, but unfortunately, we didn't get it. And then the third one right here was just awful. Just terrible shooting on our end. So unfortunately, that's a pretty good bull completely ruined because 303 does not have good penetration on a quartering Roosevelt elk. Very unfortunate, but it is what it is. So I think before we go any further in this video, let's go ahead and take a look at something that happened to me last night while I was searching Leighton Lakes at around 2 a.m. in the morning, just seeing if I could find any diamonds or rares. We managed to come across something that you really don't see every day. It's something that's never happened to me personally. Um, I know it's happened to some people, but I've never had this happen. I've had something close to it happen where there was one time where we had two Plains Bison level fives that were at the same lake, but they were a part of different drink zones. But this is the first time that I have ever seen two level five Roosevelt elk in the exact same herd. And both of them were pretty much guaranteed to be diamond. It was honestly just insane to see. It was so crazy that the second that I spotted the second one, I immediately started searching the rest of the map just to make sure that it was a legit server and that it wasn't modded. And after searching around for a while and seeing nothing else of interest, I was convinced that this was actually happening. We had actually just found two level fives in the same herd. And that is the beauty of this latent reset that they did. It has really made some insane uh, stuff happen. I mean, we have found quite a few awesome trophies in multiplayer because of it. And this is by far the coolest thing that has happened so far. But unfortunately, since I took a little bit of time to look around before shooting them, they did end up running up to their feed zone. So we had to go track them down and it took me a little bit to figure out where they were. But once we found their location, I decided to perch up on the side of the mountain and just wait for them to come back because I didn't want to chase them and just 
have the chase end up lasting for an hour long like some of them do so I just posted up on the side of the mountain and waited for them to come into the zone and eventually they did start running in and it was one of the coolest things that I have seen in so long just having two giant bulls from the same herd running into their need zone it was truly incredible to see and we ended up getting lined up on the first one and taking a shot at him and getting a perfect vital hit with the 303 and this is also why we used the 303 in this video today because I did take these guys with the 303 and we got the first one down I decided to try and sneak up and claim him without spooking the other ones and obviously that's kind of difficult to do but we managed to sneak up and get him claimed and then after we claimed him we started searching for the second one and this time I actually did decide to just chase him down instead of waiting because we had already shot one there was a chance that they probably wouldn't even come back because of that and so we just chased him down and lucky for us he ended up not being too far away and we were actually able to get a shot into him relatively soon after claiming the first one but it was just so incredible to see those two massive elk side by side and then being able to take one track down the other and take him to uh, this guy gave us a pretty good shot and we were able to seal the deal on him also and I gotta say this is actually one of the nicest looking Roosevelt elk racks I've seen I can't say I've ever seen one this nice that scores that high like I've had 400 scoring Rocky elk or uh, Roosevelt elk before but never with uh, this much nice mass and uh, this time configuration this is actually the first time I've ever seen this rack so let me know down below if you guys have seen it it's a lot more symmetrical and just wide and nice looking than the first one that first one actually had quite an interesting rack as you guys saw it was kind of curled inwards which is something you really don't see too often anymore it's not often that you get an asymmetrical uh, diamond of any kind really most of them are pretty even so it was pretty nice to actually get something unique like that and then right after it to get something absolutely massive and probably the nicest looking elk that I've seen and then after we took them down I still wanted to make sure that uh, it was a legit server so I continued searching around just to check all the other animals to make sure that nothing weird was happening and yeah sure enough everything was fine all the other animals on the server were levels two to four and they looked all relatively normal so thankfully we had something insane happen and it was legit which is awesome because you never know with multiplayer nowadays so I always question everything that I run into but after getting plenty of confirmation I was finally able to relax and just enjoy the moment and man it was insane I can't believe that it happened still and after having that happened I actually decided to continue searching the server because I was thinking if we found this then what else could be on here it seems like this map has not been touched since the update which means there could be some pretty good stuff but unfortunately nothing else was on the map those were the only good things on that guy's entire map unfortunately so it was still really cool to see but I was I was hoping that I'd find something else decent on the map too but it was just those but I really can't complain because that's one of the coolest things that I've seen in my entire time playing this game pretty much. Never before have I had two diamonds in the same herd uh, for the same species. It's just crazy. So I think after all of what we went through to get these guys, they both deserve to be in the lodge. Now the question is where do I want to put them? Um, we could replace this little guy right here because he is the thinner version of this rack and I just uh, like actually wait a minute no these are the same okay so we can just remove one of these actually I think we will remove probably this one right here since he's the lower scoring one and we will put the wonky one on this side right here yeah I think that'll look pretty good right there and then I think what we're gonna do is possibly remove one of these I guess we will remove this one right here and then move our piebald over and put the other Roosevelt right here I think this is looking really good right here I definitely like having all of them like this we got the small rack that is completely normal without any type of 
asymm asymmetry or anything like that. And then we have his wonky brethren right across. We've got the really, uh, I guess, kind of skinny rack from the larger one. And then his higher scoring, thicker beamed brother is in that room over that way. And then we got this other new one right here that just looks amazing. I definitely like this rack the best. I've never seen it until this guy right here. So let me know if you guys have ever killed one with this rack in the comments below because I've never seen it until now and I like it. I think it's probably the best one. And then I ended up putting that Rocky Mountain Elk that we moved right in here. So he's still going to be in the lodge. I took down a caribou that we uh, didn't really need anymore because we already have one. So yeah, I'm liking the way this is looking. The Elk Hall is still all Elk, but now it's just got a little more Roosevelt's than it did before. But anyway, guys, if you're brand new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, click the like button, and ring that notification bell so that you guys will never miss a video. Also, be sure to comment down below with your favorite diamond rack for the Roosevelt Elk because I'm curious which one you guys like the most. So let me know down below. And with that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next video. Peace!